Hey yeah guys, this is Tommy with the Capital Z, welcoming you to another audio commentary. This is going to be a match between Fly, the Blue Orc player, versus TS Shipple Zero, or I just say Thu, the purple human player right here on Twi Turtle Rock. <laughs> I almost have Twisted Meadow go there. And anyways, as you can see, both um, Thu is at the 4 o'clock position and Fly at the 11 o'clock or turtle rock both at the opposite sides not won't be any close by battles and nothing spe very special going on right now I've recently been searching for many replays I just didn't, don't find anything very very interesting and I don't think I will be finding many things interesting as the WCG is coming up and I doubt that I'm going to I'm going to be commentating on any of those replays that most of you are just gonna watch it live streams and stuff you probably won't be wishing, wishing to see them uh, again and and Alchemy coming out from two side and we have Blade Master from Fly it's gonna be a standard game Peon being sent out uh, to scout out this place and thus he didn't go very much inside although I don't think he can spot he needs to go a bit more inside in my opinion but well might be a small mistake or something as you can see footman is out and that footman gonna be running around to scout a bit going towards that other starting point which is just beside him and actually coming back right now not doing anything much Archmega will be out and will be going for this creeps these creeps and that peon going towards this point no going directly towards that point that uh, starting point I have to say and right now power creeping away these this orange spot which does help that Archmeg to get to level 2 very early no arcane scanthum or no arcane vault I have to say or tower being dropped yet lumber mill behind the base and successfully done creeping over here while that blade master tried to enter the base saw that no towers but the base is firmly blocked and and uh, it seems like the grunt started this place and right now fly managed to take out one of the PR or one of those militias I have to say which, uh, which was at uh, low hit points and right now Thu just trying to lure fly out of the out of the base range so that he can't like uh, harass those militias which are going inside he did manage to take them one out which I didn't mention and anyways right now he's going to the other side probably gonna try to take out that grunt attack that grunt and just back out a bit while this Archmeg is just running around just luring away that blade master Blade Master still following it and right now heading inside the base probably gonna drop that uh, water elemental inside or something as more of the humans don't know no elementals do going directly back to his base and he actually manages to creep out this place without any hero with a few militias and stuff oh nice he did have that water elemental there to creep and right now came here to buy a few items but that oh my that blade master bought the boost first and that will give him a distinct advantage but he did manage to get that staff of teleportation and oh my a surround a surround oh no no he got it he managed to get out of there and uh, he didn't TP he used staff of teleportation I have to mention that and he didn't actually teleport himself to the base he actually teleported himself to the other side near the other goblin lab and probably gonna buy the boost from here yeah there are the boots no healing or anything as that ar arcane wall was not ready and that keep is almost up what would be the second hero I'd like to see some beast master or something as summoner hero it's going quite well versus orcs these days and yeah you have we have seen in fever fly a lot with that kind of build and right now taking to take out that what that burrow inside the base oh and that blade uh, blade must trying to target out that arc mate one one of those footmen did die inside the base and nice that water water emitter and footmen blocking away that uh, small glitch over there which um, 
uh, which helped those uh, footmen to take out that burrow. I think he did. Wait, oh man, I don't remember. And here yeah, he did manage to take out one of the grunts. Right now, oh my, he's trying to target out that Artmake. Focusing, focusing down that Artmake. Artmake is forced to run back. Probably will have to use a TP, but he has to use a TP. He can't use a Shavadal with teleportation at this point. He's, he is at quite low hit point, and if a uh, if a critical hit comes out of the blade master he will be t down and very nice he actually used uh now i did say beast master and we do see a beast master now trying to take out that burrow which is under construction now trying to take out a spirit lounge not allowing him to do very much inside the base wisely blocking away that entrance with that quill beast and he, that blade master has to take it out before he can enter inside and target that blade beast master. And right now, you, all those ones coming inside, he will be able, he may be will be able to take out this one. And oh my, he, I don't I don't see how he can exp escape. He doesn't have anything much. To, and now oh my, he's blocked. He's blocked. He may go down. He will go down. And Archmage, oh, and Archmage comes in time as he goes down. Beastmaster did die over here, not very good for two. And who did wa want to take out this grunt and yeah, yes he did. He he did manage to take it out on time. And this footman will probably go down and oh why nice. he actually killed it himself. And right now heading back to his base Arcane Scanthums already as I see a sorceress priest and sorceress coming up, Beastmaster reviving and we seen it a lot of times be that art makes summoner beastmaster and art may summons with those casters they are so so effective versus the works he may even go for the tower push which is what you humans usually are doing these days and right now going after the green creeping spot not a very usual spot for this time but he does not have many units to go after a big one too and and right now fly going after that orange spot level 3 blade master and we actually seeing magic sentry being used sometime a lot these days no towers are up ready and I think he probably will go for a tower as he is researching magic sentry and no towers are up ready inside the base he does not I don't think he has enough workers I think he should make a pump out a few more so that he won't fall, fall short of lumber when he is actually at the enemy base with the tower rush right now taking out that ogre with that a quill beast level 3 arc mage and beast master, beast master comes over here right to take out that saucer saucer slowed it and uh, here comes that play here comes the slow in the play that slow is very effective but he is using a slow speed to uh, boost him up a bit attack speed attack speed is not increased although the movement speed is and that slow of slow speed goes down and while he has had nothing to save himself and is forced to wind walk out of that battle and now trying to take out the other saucers the saucer will slow it and run away that is just what these saucers are doing these days and right now he actually seemed to be using this shadow hunter as a tank and he did manage to take uh, this ward over here inside the base and right now yes he is going for tower rush no no workers being pulled i don't see any workers being pulled over here yes they are coming from there that's a late work uh, worker pull up but this will work he actually had five ivory towers interesting and right now just trying to get those towers up and ready notice one thing that these towers have magic sentry upgraded that means that they can see this blade master anywhere it runs uh, inside the base using that wind walk now just casting away that slow and you can see once again i have to say this in chat is very very essential for orcs against humans and you can see he does not have decent chat and that that is the reason his units are just falling over here he is researching it but he is actually researching it after he gets one more spirit walker that is not good and he did manage to take out a few workers over here that is good but those towers are up and ready oh my my towers these towers may be able to take out that uh, altar of uh, altar of storms oh man 
And right now, slowing away his unit once again, attacking them. Took out, took out all those grunts over there. And we have a level two beastmaster. Second spell will probably be bear, as he doesn't need hawk at this stage because he has all those uh, magic sentry towers. These towers are too many. He, I don't see how he can resist this. He's actually making trolls. I don't see why you want trolls in this kind of battle. You probably would be liking to go for demolishers in if uh, a human tower is. And oh, the blade master goes down. And fly says GG. Not a very much interesting game, but was fun. Well, just hope you guys enjoyed it. And as I said, WCG is coming, and I don't know if I would be commentating on any of those games because most of you will probably see on live stream and stuff and yeah that's just about it oh yeah if you have any exciting games you can just uh, just let me know I could if I could commentate on some good exciting high profile game or something and that's just about it storm easy over it out